Guys, let me show you the result I got. As I enter Monster Hunter now, you will see the amazing result I got within my app. And I'm ready to show each and every step that I took so that you can take it as well and get to this amazing result. So let's go ahead and let's start with the process to get to the same exact result that I got. As you can see, I'm getting all of those resources I always wanted. So take each and every step I'm taking to get to the same exact result. Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can get unlimited coins and diamonds in Monster Hunter Now. I'm going to show you the only working Monster Hunter Now hack and mod for iOS and Android devices. And all it takes to get to the result you saw in the beginning is just a few simple steps that you need to follow right now. So let's not lose any more time and let me show you each and every step that I took to get to this result so that you can take it as well and get to it. So just follow each and every step that I took to get to this exact result. Let's start. All right, you guys, so the first thing that we'll be doing to get to the result is actually preparing our phone. So what we need to do is update Monster Hunter now to its latest version. So make sure you visit your App Store or your Google Play Store and check if the app needs any updates. If it does, you need to make sure you update your app to its latest version. If it doesn't, you are good to go and you can start with the process. So. For what Android users need to do first is switch off your battery saver mode and keep it switched off until the rest of the process is done. As for the iOS users, you need to go to your settings app, then go to general, background app refresh, and make sure you have it switched on for both Wi-Fi and cellular data. Also guys, for this to be available for you, you will have to switch off your low power mod for the reason that if you're in low power mod, it even says here, low power mod temporarily reduces background activity. So it means that it will switch off the background app refresh option. So you need to make sure you have your low power mod switched off for the rest of the process. When you're done with the process, you can go back to your original settings, same goes for Android users as well. Now guys, the next thing that we'll be doing is using our browsers. You can of course use any browser that you want to or you're used to using. I'm going to be using my Safari one that you can see right here. So let's open it and go to the website you see on the screen. This is the website that we need to visit. Once we get to it, we can browse through the apps and try to find Monster Hunter now. We can see it right there. So what it will do is write the username that we are using within the app. Oh, sorry about this. Once we're done with that, we'll choose the platform and enter the amount of gems and coins for each one separately that we want to get. Once we're done with that, all we need to do is tap on continue. When we are done tapping on continue, we can see it connecting to the servers, connecting to the record of my username, then finding it, and then adding in the value that I wanted. Once it adds the, val the value, they might ask you to complete some type of process for them. Like sometimes for me, actually I did this three times. So two out of three times, they asked me for my name, my last name and my email address. I use my real email address because I needed it for the process. Whatever process they ask you to complete, please complete it until the end so you can enjoy Monster Hunter now without any limitations. Thank you guys so much for watching. watching so subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.